Hello and welcome to another Rust Locker video. Today I'm doing something which uh, might be a little bit boring for some people, which is just a oil change in the Vauxhall combo van. But if you don't know how to do it, then it's going to help you learn how. And um, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I'm going to try to do the fastest oil change I've ever done. I'm going to try and get it done start to finish in about 10 minutes. That's the challenge anyway. Hopefully I can get it done. If not, it's still going to be a quick oil change. Well, I'm going to go outside now, I'm going to show you the bits and pieces that you will need if you want to do it yourself and uh, then I'm going to set a timer and then I'm going to crack on I'm going to take you with me the whole way so there'll be no tripod, I'm going to try and hold the camera at the same time Okay, so let me break it down for you Basically what is involved is we're going to warm up the engine slightly by turning it on and letting it run whilst that's happening I'm going to jack the van up just a little bit to allow me to get my oil pan underneath I'm going to undo the sump plug while that's draining replace the filter when it's finished draining replace the sump plug then refill with oil and we should be good to go okay so I've got my oil I've got my drain pan I've got a um, funnel for putting the oil back in I've got my oil filter, uh, now it's always a good idea to either replace the washer or the sump plug entirely when you do an oil change. So here I've got a replacement sump plug for my Vauxhall Combo and as you can see it's got some red stuff around the threads which is going to help sort of uh, seal it. Only problem being is that I have ordered the wrong sump plug for my vehicle so I'm going to have to reuse the old one. So what I'm going to do is on the old sump plug I'm going to wrap a bit of PTFE tape around the uh, threads when I um, refit it and uh, that's probably not the best way to do it but on this oil change that's what's going to happen. <laughs> but as I said most of the time it's advisable to at least get a new sump washer or if you've got a, a sump plug like this which is just a screw type then um, to get a new one with this uh, stuff around the threads. Okay, it's a 27mm socket that I need to get to the oil filter, which is just there. So that's going to come off and the oil filter is going to go inside that. Oil filter is here. New rubber ring. Oh, that, this rubber ring goes on the uh, casing. Already at two minutes. I really should have warmed the engine up first. I'm going to give that another 30 seconds or so. Whilst I check other things, I need some coolant in there. So I'll put some of that in later. Let's speed things up a little bit. Okay, this is a bit better. I'd leave it for longer personally, but... A 
I'd leave it for longer and the oil would probably drain a bit faster but I'm trying to get this done quick so this might hurt my time okay now my drain plug has got an allen key head so I'll try and see if I can undo this and still maintain hold of the sump plug hopes if we turn it the right way and there we go Is my sump plug looks the same as the other one, but the Allen key hole is uh, is bigger in the new one. Okay, so while that's draining, I'm going to do the filter. I don't actually know how that comes apart. failing in my challenge because I can't undo the filter. Looks to me like there's little clips there. How the fuck this comes out. Failing, I'm failing. Pour a little bit of oil in the filter. And around the edge here, give it a good seal. Take this and clear out some of the old oil, that dirty shit from in there. Okay, oil filter back in. Just 
screw that up. Tighten it down. And the seals come out, great. Seal in the wrong place. Wouldn't have done that if I wasn't rushing. That's as tight as I can get it. <sighs> Covered in oil, no time for gloves. Okay, now, combo takes four litres of oil. Stick reading empty. One liter. Three quarters of the way. So we've got to get down, this is five litres, the van takes four, so we get this down to a litre left in it. Or close to it. So there might be still a bit of old oil left in there. You don't want to overfill either. Drop it down. Oh no, first of all, take your oil pan out from underneath it. Otherwise, 
I ain't ever getting that out. Now that we're level, come back around and check the dipstick. We're up to about the full mark. Put the cap back on. And I'm calling that time. Twenty-five minutes. Okay, so I definitely failed the ten minute oil change challenge. I think I could have got closer to ten minutes if I'd have done a few things different. One uh, I should have warmed the van up a bit first and that way I wouldn't have had to waste time there. Two, uh, I spent a lot of time being a bit OCD about trying to keep my hands in the driveway clean which obviously I should have just let everything get messy and I would have done it a lot quicker. And three, um, the oil filter held me up quite a bit because it just clips in and you have to just pull it out with brute force. So I was trying to unscrew it and get it out gently when really it's just sort of plastic clips that you just have to yank out. Um, spent a lot of time wasted on that. Um, and also taking a camera around with me. I think if someone was filming me and uh, I didn't have to worry about the camera as well, then I would have saved a lot of time there. So I reckon I could probably do it in closer to 10 minutes if all of those conditions were met. I don't know, 25 minutes for a complete oil change whilst filming it and explaining what I'm doing for you guys. I think that's not too bad. So yeah, that's gonna do it for now. Hope you enjoyed this one. Give us a like if you did or a comment down below if you've got any questions. And uh, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.